What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Justin Foles. We're back at it again another video. Today, we're looking at God of War Ragnarok. We got two pieces of gameplay to look at. One I missed from a few days ago, and one that just premiered like four hours ago on Game Informer, of all people. Um, so, we're going to check this We're gonna check this gameplay out and see what they got to offer. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, uh, God of War Ragnarok. Let's get Hello. it. It's Jay from Game Informer. Okay. God of War games are known for their expressive, gritty action, and Ragnarok looks true, to be no true. different. In fact, two lead combat designers told me their process is inspired by a badass studio catchphrase, play with your food. Right. And you can see how Kratos lives up to that philosophy, grappling ledges with his blades of chaos and launching opponents with the two new Dauntless and Stonewall mm. arm shields. Atreus assists the war effort <coughs> by stunning with arrows, destroying obstructions, swinging his bow, like and summoning does. spectral allies like in the last game. Right. One big change that's pretty easy to miss unless you're playing big is the new ability big mapped parry. to the triangle button. By holding or mashing triangle, Kratos activates his weapon's signature move. Blades Depending on whether he has a Leviathan Axe or Blades of Chaos equipped, Kratos can infuse his steel with ice or fire. Mm. These elemental moves, called Frost Awaken and Whiplash, do extra damage by freezing or incinerating enemies. Even though you're an unstoppable ball of rage, one combat designer cautioned that we shouldn't play with all our food. Some food can heat us pretty easily too. Well duh, we know that. One more info about the new reptilian creatures called Grimms or some of the play styles you can experiment with? Go to GameInformer.com slash G-O-W Ragnarok and be sure to stay tuned for more God of War videos. Mm. That's probably what the cover story will be this month for the magazine. Exclusive God of War cover details. I mean, we already saw the cover. So if you didn't, you can go to that website to see it. But we've already saw that. Um, okay. Now let's look at the other one. The one that came out four hours ago. Jay from Game Informer here. In God of War 2018, we traversed Midgard and its massive Lake of the Nine, Alfheim, home mm -hmm. to light and dark elves, Helheim, the underworld, alongside Jotunheim, the right. land of giants, and even Niflheim and Muspelheim, which pushed players' skills to the limit with combat trials. Sadly, Odin barred access to the remaining realms, but director Eric Williams told me we'll get to explore all nine in God of War Ragnarok, and that the so, ones we've seen before will feel new again. But right, without further okay. ado, welcome to Svartalheim. A realm that exemplifies dwarven ingenuity. I'm talking technical marvels like mine pits, artificial water channels, and sprawling cities, all setting the stage for potentially complex environmental puzzles. To navigate I'm the new realm, we'll need to rely on Kratos' tool set, his weapons, and yes, his son, that. Atreus. In Svartalheim, mm -hmm. Kratos can freeze geysers by way of the Leviathan Axe, dismantle pots with his Blades of Chaos, and command the boy to interact with out-of-reach devices. Boy. I spoke with two level designers about Svartalheim's creation, and both talked about evolving the gameplay in larger spaces. The world and its mechanics reflect the narrative. In the reveal trailer, we watched Kratos and company use sled wolves to get from one far off point to the next. But in less right. frozen areas like Svartalheim, we'll row down streams or through open waters in a canoe. Perhaps there will be more transportation methods, but for now, all of this suggests a journey vaster and bolder than what came before. For more on the cover story, head to our hub at GameInformer.com slash G-O-W really Ragnarok to check that website. or swing by our YouTube channel for more gameplay content. Okay, that was uh, cool about what I expected. Um, Here. Yeah, about what I expected. God of War so, um, you get to go to a new realm. This is just like a like a like a cooler, warmer realm, the realm of the dwarves, because you know most of the game, uh, the first game was like you were in like frozen, these frozen, you know, desolate, you know, areas. But this is cool. This is cool. Um. I'm liking the details, liking the graphics. It's, it's like it's about what I expected, you know. Even the other video we looked at, we it's about what I expected, you know. Very sharp graphics, crazy combat. They talked about the playing with your food mechanic, which is basically like in every action RPG game where you can, you can juggle, you can string together combos, you can switch up weapons, you could just really punish your enemy. That's all that really means. Playing with your food. Um, if you if you played any action game or really any fighting game or anything that has to do with juggling like juggling juggling your enemy like long after the death especially like okay look at look at how Devil May Cry plays like that where you can launch your enemy in the air jump up in the air cut them down 
jump back down and then shoot them up while they're in the air, like just playing with your food, playing with your food. Like, so it looks, do- it looks dope. I think this is, these are the first two pieces of actual in engine gameplay because everything else we've seen was pretty much like CG from what I remember. Every other video I've done on this was CG and I've pretty much covered everything that's come out for this so far. You see it's coming out November 9th. I feel like this is the least. They they holding this game really tight to the vest. So this is like the least gameplay we've seen for pretty much any any like AAA title coming out. Usually they'll show a little bit more by now. Like if you look at my channel, I, I did like I got like five Gotham videos, Gotham Nights videos. I got like five or six uh Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven videos, like five or six um What's this other game that's coming out? Saints Row that just came out. Five or six videos on that. But this this one, Sony's holding it pretty close to the vest. I don't know how GI got the exclusive with the gameplay. Because I looked other places and everywhere everywhere else. Everybody else that's looking at this is looking at this same footage that we're looking at right now. So, only difference in the videos that you're going to see is the reaction of the creator. So, um, hopefully I'll check mine out. Hopefully y'all, y'all watch this far into the video. We about to be finished anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm liking I'm liking what I see. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I did not finish God of War. I finished every God of War except for the one, except for the the, the prequel to this, the first one, the one that came out in 2018. Because my dumbass wanted to put it on hard, and I got frustrated on one part and just gave up and never got went back to it. So I might lower the difficulty and just plow through the game just to see um, how it ends out before this game comes out in November. So. This game's looking awesome. We can't wait to see more. So um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Is, is this game corny? Are you not impressed? I've seen some reactors, they, they're saying they're not impressed or anything like that. You know, I think that's cap because at the end of the day, you're still going to buy it. And you're still going to be like, oh, my God, God of War. You know what I mean? I hate when creators do that. But, you know, I'm highly optimistic for this game. I think it's going to be dope. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, y'all really know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is your boy, Justice Falls, and we out. One.